try to catch a couple fish down here and, and see if this cold snap didn't hurt them too bad. Like it did. Fall is kind of like the bass fisherman's Christmas time, honestly. They, uh, for one, it's not 100 degrees outside. You're not, on the person itself, you're not getting like exhausted and sweating your butt off because you're just trying to chase a green fish. But the fishing heats up and the big fish just start chewing and the fish just, they get so big in the fall. It's, it's, it's kind of like, un, it's surreal. I mean, especially here, the fish get so fat in the fall from gorging their self and, and the bigger fish come out to play and they're a little bit easier to catch because they, they kind of move up toward the bank and you don't have to go out there and, and fish the hard form out deep. And I mean, it really is like the bass fishermen's like dream time of year. It's like what we look forward to. When it gets cold like this, a lot of times I like to target rock because rock will hold the heat a lot better than uh, wood, wood, or anything like that. It's more absorbent to the heat. So I target rock and shallower banks. Um, a lot, you know, sometimes the fish do like to go out deep when the cold snap hits because not much changes deep. It takes time for that to change, but I feel like my strengths is more toward the bank. So I, I target rock and and boat ramps, all crushed up boat ramps and, and things like that these fish will hold to to keep warm and, and try to get a quick meal. You know, the crawdads will start coming through and, and the shad will push up with the wind and just targeting windblown rock is, is my biggest key factor for when, the cold, when it starts to get cold and the fishing starts to heat up. I always find them better on the rock and the windblown banks. They ain't very big. That is not what we're after. He might grow up to be a big in one day. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, he bit it weird. It's another small one. It's a shallow fish. He's been hooked before. It's a pretty good fish, though. We're putting the pieces together, though. What you call him on the, on the, on the yeah, tech, texturing black trick worm. It's, Kind of like a high rock secret that everybody knows about. The black trick worm has been very effective for many anglers over the years here. It's it's almost like a high rock special, if you want to call it that. It's a heck of a lure. This one right here is the uh, Biz Bates Dizzy Diamond. It's very buoyant, got a flat tail that floats up. I think it just irritates the fish just a little bit more than the other ones because the other ones sit flat, this floats up. It's a good lure. I like it. I kind of ate that jig. Right where he's supposed to be. Right on the riprap pier, underneath the pier. He just ate a jig on a real calm day like that. It's a pretty fish, real healthy fish. He's been eating really good. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is just typical fall stuff. We found the bait. Um, it's starting to come into the creeks. We kind of ventured back further this morning and realized, well, it's not quite back there yet, so it's kind of out toward the mouse. And um, you know, the sun's high, real bluebird skies today, not much wind. Um, so you know, every fisherman knows that it's time to pick something up slow moving. Um, so I went with the jig, um, started targeting docks with riprap and boat ramps near it, and. Um, it just seems to be the key. The fish are eating the jig, and, and like I said before, they're getting the hook in the top of their mouth, so it shows me that's something that they're wanting to eat. They're not just nipping at it, they're actually grabbing it and holding on to it. And um, just, that's the two key things. If you can find the bait, and you can find the, the habitat, the riprap, the chunk rock, the pea gravel that they're on, then you'll be able to have a ball and catch as many fish as you want. And uh, this time of year, they kind of want to pack up.
Here we go. A little bit better fish. <laughs> well, hang on, I got water on my lens here. Hang on. <laughs> Look how pretty the color are on that fish. It is pretty fish. Wow. <laughs> That fish was laying right where he's supposed to be. Right beside a transition bank, you got thick rock, like hard chunk rock in a pebble, laying right up next to a pier, and he's choked a jig. It's a better fish. So we just caught two decent fish, and they were on two docks right next to each other. So they're kind of packed up, and then, you know, once you catch one, you can usually catch a couple. Um, that's a really big thing I try to look for this time of year. And then, um, just a natural color presentation. As, um, as later fall comes and the water cools off more, you can go to a black and blue um, and those sorts of colors, a crawdad crawl, which is you know just green pumpkin with some orange in it. But right now we're kind of just sticking with the generic green pumpkin. Um, it's, it's just turning out to be a really fun day and it looks like it's gonna be an awesome fall to fish.